Let's just do our gentle yoga for today. So come into mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips nice and open, shoulders back and down, and crown to the ceiling. Spread your toes out, no gripping. Just feel that connection down into the earth. Inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart, elbows still at shoulder level. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down, spread those toes out, and then clasp your hands behind you, press them to the floor, and lift your heart, feel that back bend start, and then pivot at your hips, exhale on over. So spread your toes, lift your hands, move your chin around, get your neck releasing a little bit. Lift your sitting bones, stretch the back of your legs, and then bend your knees slightly, work your way back up. And again, into that back bend with the chest lifted, shoulders dropped, and head reaching away. So sink evenly into your feet, take a few breaths, and when you're ready, inhale back upright into mountain pose. And just take a brief moment, feeling that energy begin flowing. Again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp the opposite way behind you. So shift the fingers in one position over. Lift your heart again, stretch into the back bend, and then pivot as you exhale, coming all the way deep. And again, just as far as you'd like, top of the head down toward the floor, sitting bones lifting, feel that whole body stretch a little more. And again, work your way back up from the bottom of the spine into your upper body back bend once more. Stretch it out, keep breathing, and then come on back upright into mountain pose. Feel a moment of energy. And then we'll get ready to do our sides. So arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Go ahead, pass them and clasp, and then bring your arms back next to your ears. Sitting bones down, crown high, and stay facing forward as you lean to the side so you're opening those ribs. Push the foot you're leaning away from down and out through your head and your hands. Feel that whole side opening as the side plays move the spine. And then inhale to the top. Keep the shoulders down as you switch the other hand to the front. And again, pull the arms next to your ears. Spread your toes. Stretch everything straight. Lean to the other side. And again, feel those ribs stretch as you push your foot down and your hands away. Breathe into that side as you open. And then inhale back upright and into that pose. Take a moment, feeling those sides a little bit more stretched, and then stretching the spine apart. So base of the skull and base of the spine push away from each other to open those bones so you can twist. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Pull your arms next to your ears again, and stretch your spine. Exhale into your twist. Take a breath. And then exhale in the twist as deeply as you would. Arms by your ears, sitting bones lifting. Weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And don't forget to breathe. And then stay in your twist as you work your way back in the inhalation to the top, into that upper body only for your back bend. Remember, gentle on your low back while it's twisting. Stretch the elbows back and the shoulders down. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, stretch the spine apart and turn to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. And just deepen as far as you'd like to go. Lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. And don't forget to breathe. And still wait on both feet as you work your way back up into one more upper body back bend. Take a moment and breathe, lifting your heart. And on an inhalation, come up and turn back to the center. Arms extended up toward the ceiling. And then swan dive forward. So pivot 
Pat your hips, bring your body parallel to the floor, stretch everything out, and then just drop into ragdoll hanging wherever your arms fall. Go in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like that extra stretch on your back. And then arms back to the center, and another roll up, just gently coming back to the top. Take a moment as you get up, bringing your hands to your heart. Inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs as you bring them back behind you, lifting your heart into another back bend. Swan dives, the arms coming out, pivoting forward, and again, dropping into ragdoll, and just hanging. Take a moment there, lifting your sitting bones. Exhale, and again, just deepen as much as you like. Hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten everything. So elbows, knees, and spine straight. Lengthen and breathe. And exhale again all the way down. Hands together. And once more, bring your hands to your heart. And then toward the ceiling. And another back bend lifting your chest. Exhale, hands to your heart. And back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling all that energy through your spine. Stretch it apart, and we'll just gently swing into our windmill, moving from one side all the way around to the other. So just go as far into that twist as your body wants to go. Exhale any tension, just feel that whole spine, whole body moving. And then back to the center and our backstroke and swimming. Bring the arm in close to your ear as it comes up and around. And then bringing both arms up, stretch on one side, come up on the opposite toe. So the side stretch stays flat and feel those ribs again stretching apart on that side. Exhale that one down, inhale the other one up. Keep stretching it out, lengthening through the ribs, through the side. Exhale, let's do that first side again. And the second. And then with both feet down, both arms up, shoulders down. Arms next to your ears, reach those fingertips away. Pivot forward from your hips, arms still next to your ears as you get parallel to the floor. And then again, another drop into ragdoll. Lift those sitting bones. Move your hands to one side, a little twist while you're in that forward position. And then back to the center, and then to the other side. Keep stretching that spine apart. Turning slightly, exhale back. And again, another roll up from the bottom of the spine. Just feel those bones move into place as you come all the way back up into mountain pose. Take a moment to spread your toes on your favorite balanced foot. Yeah, balance time. So remember, you want the ball of the foot, base of the toe area connected, not the toes themselves, no gripping with the toes. Keep lifting your arch, the whole bottom of the foot on the floor on that one connected foot. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. So remember, you may need to be moving that foot to the front so that everything's lined up for that support. Sink evenly into that foot and the, that ball of the foot and heel area up through the crown. And when you're ready, bring your other foot a little or more or toward your chest. Pull it in as far as you want. Make yourself as stable as you can. And then, of course, work your ankle so that we make sure we stay flexible and keep those feet working effectively so we don't fall. Flex and point, and put that foot back down as we shift our balance to the other side. So again, line everything up. Get that core supporting your spine. Keep those shoulders back and down. Make sure that alignment is correct. Spread those toes. Get that base of support. And when you're ready, bring the other foot up. And again, you can keep it low or higher 
however much is good for you. Remember, don't cross the foot over, but keep it straight down as you bring your ankle in circles. Keep breathing, working it as much as you'd like. And again, straighten it out before bringing it back to the mat. Back on the floor, bring those feet together, bend your knees right above your ankle or right, right above your toes, hands above your knees, and then circling, bringing those knees in nice big circles. Feel your whole lower body work. So the feet and ankles, as well as the knees, as well as the hips. Feel the back even getting involved. And then stop and circle the other way because, yeah, we balance in yoga, doing things evenly on both sides. And then again, stopping in the middle, find your balanced spot, looking at the floor out in front of you and lift your heels. So you're on the ball of the foot, the base of the toe area. Don't grip too much with those toes. Spread them out and just find your balance. And then work back and forth, working that whole bottom of your foot. So the ankles, arches, toes, everything working, moving from the front of the foot all the way back and back to the front. And then once again, releasing, come back up into mountain pose. Let's work the lower back a little bit with just some big circles. So either cross your elbows behind your lower back or reverse prayer with your fingertips between your shoulder blades and hands in prayer position. Knees bent toward, not beyond your toes and big circles with your hips. So just work those hips around as much as they want. Feel what's going on through that lower body from the lower back through the legs, through the ankles and the feet, everything working a little bit. And again, stop and go to the other circle. So once more, just as much or as little as you, you need on this side. And coming back up into your mountain pose, bring your hands once more to your heart. Inhale, or look at them up toward the ceiling. And swan dive, pivot the arm, stretch it out, and drop into rag doll. Bend your knees and come to the floor. So coming all the way down, bring your forehead toward the floor, hips back toward your heels, hands, palms up, shoulders down. Child pose as deeply as you go. Take a moment and breathe. Just relax and stretch the spine. And then inhale, sit up, bring your legs out to step position. So feet to the front, sitting bones slightly behind you. Press that through your heels, pull your toes back. Feel that whole back of your leg getting a nice little stretch as you pull those sitting bones back a little bit. Keep the core supporting your spine. And relax your shoulders down. Bring your foot up toward your <coughs> thigh and let the knee come down, <coughs> letting the outside of your hip get a little release. So <coughs> you can put your hands on your knee, but don't press. No pressure, just a little extra weight to help encourage that knee to come down toward the floor, but don't force it. If this is tight, <coughs> you can bring the leg over to the side and that hip will release a little bit more easily. So do what's right for your body, just gently, always letting your body do what's right only in your yoga. And then hands on your knee and ankle, just rotating side to side, or wrapping your arms around, pull it in a little more for some intensity if you love it. And again, just keep moving that hip a little bit more. If it's really enjoyable, you can make it even more intense with the foot higher or closer at your choice. And when you're ready to release, back into staff position, feel the difference on the two sides. So we've got to balance that. So bring the other foot up, knee coming down. 
And again, knee over, knee and toes up toward the ceiling, foot over to the side if you'd like. Hands adding weight, not pressure if you want. Always personal practice. Do what's right for your hip, your body. Exhale, just relax. Let your yoga happen. Don't force it. And again, after you've let it release a little bit on that side, you can bring your foot and knee into your hands or pull the leg in. And again, just rotating side to side, letting things release a little bit more through that hip joint. Stay there or make it more intense if you're loving it. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades, and sitting bones down and the crown up. And again, releasing that into staff position, just feel your hips a little bit more worked open. You can bring your feet into butterfly, knees going out toward the sides, and just let that release through the inner thighs a little bit. Hands back under your shoulders for a little fingertip or palm down pressure. So as you do that, you'll feel the heart open a little bit more. That inner abdominal area work a little bit more. And maybe those legs release a little further down toward the floor. Or maybe not. Just let your body go where it wants. And then releasing, hands to your knees. You can bring them up and into a cross-leg position. But of course, creatures of habit, we always cross the same way. So go ahead and do it the other way so that we're not being our habitual self. Sitting bones behind you, core activated, crown to the ceiling, shoulders back and down, and we'll work the neck a little bit. So chin into that little throat center at the base of your neck. And let the back of your skull lift. So the back of the neck is just stretching gently. <clears throat> Exhale any tension. Let it happen. Don't force it. And then again, weight, not pressure. Just bringing your hands one at a time to the back of your head and letting that stretch intensify a little bit, but not forcing it at all. Just let the neck Get a good, good stretch. Exhale and release. And then releasing your hands, tip your chin up and lift it a little bit so you feel that stretch on the front of your throat. Take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> and then you can move your jaw around, giving a little more stretch to your throat. And then tipping your head back up, bringing that base of the skull back up. We're going to work the sides. So bring your ear over to one side, both shoulders staying down. So take a moment there, just breathing and relaxing, feeling that stretch on the opposite side. If that's good. You can bring the head, hand you're tipping toward onto the side of your head. Again, weight, not pressure. Don't push it. Just let it give a little more stretch to that side. If that works for you and you want a little more, bring your hand in to the floor if you'd like. So take a moment and breathe. <clears throat> Exhale. Just relax that whole shoulder neck area. Exhaling any tension. And then releasing your hands. <clears throat> Tip your head back upright. Switch your legs around so that we can Work the other side evenly. So again, take a moment there, getting those sitting bones behind you, core active and spine stretching up. And tip your ear toward the opposite shoulder. And again, feel the stretch begin. Stay there if that's good. Or bring your hand for a little extra weight, but no pressure, giving you a little more stretch. And again, stay there. Or bring your hand to the floor or a little maximizing, if you like it. Again, breathing, relaxing, just allowing that to happen in your body, your way. Take a breath and relax. And again, when you're ready to release that, bring your hands back down, 
Tip your head back, up straight. Take a moment to breathe. And then lifting your knees, bring your legs out to the front. <clears throat> a little twist time. So bring your right leg in, wrap your arms around, pull it in close to your body. And then if you want, you can put the foot on the opposite side of that extended leg. Other foot stays pressing out through the heel. Opposite arm <clears throat> around the knee and the arm of that bent knee straight to the front. Shoulders both down, stretch the spine apart. Exhale, move into your twist. So just allow the hip to come slightly up so that you can move your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, turning to the side. Bring the hand behind you down to the floor, close to your body, and just a gentle press into your fingers or palm. Stretch up through the crown, and then as you exhale again, you can move that hip, on the other side, as you turn your body deeper, hips, ribs, and shoulder into your twist. Take a breath, relax in. And bring your hand to shoulder level, following it back to the center, releasing into staff position, getting ready to twist to the other side. So bring that left knee in close to your body, pull it in, put it outside the opposite leg if you want to, other foot pressing out, toes up, knee up. Wrap your arm around, keep it hugging in, and bring the arm at shoulder level for your twist. Take a breath and stretch up. Exhale, follow that hand around all the way toward the back. So your whole body is turning, hips, ribs, and shoulder. Bring the hand close to you on the floor. Stretch up through the whole spine. Pull the knee in, exhale, deepen the twist. So that hip needs to come up a little bit so you're not overworking that low back as you move your hips, ribs, and shoulder into your twist as deeply as your body wants to go. Take a breath and relax it. And then bring your hand back up, follow it back around to the center, and release into stack bringing your feet, of course, to the end of the mat so that we can go into our final relaxation. Core activated, press out through your heels, pull those toes back, round your back, rolling onto your lower back, and then your ribs and shoulder blades and shoulders. Palms up near your side and just relax into corpse position, toes toward each other, and then just let that lower body relax completely. Shoulders down, hands, palms up, and close your eyes. Soften your jaw. Let your whole body just release deep into that surface beneath you. Exhaling, letting your body grow heavy, deepening into that earth support. And relaxing. Chugging. Deep breaths. Exhaling, letting everything go. As you relax your whole body, just allow it to grow heavier with each exhalation, deepening into that earth embrace. Letting everything relax even further. As you let thoughts of your body release, just allow any new thoughts coming to you to release as well. Remember always it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath, floating away without attention. Body relaxing. Mind just drifting. Allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And just turn that awareness inward, that peace point deep within. Fill your body with peace and your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace.
can just keep relaxing as long as you have time today. And if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more fully, just begin moving your body gently or however it feels good for you today. Breathing more freely, stretching more completely whenever you are ready to do so. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heel, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.